Hey there. What the man? It's me, Lion Don Blue Boy 95. Uh. Yeah. This is gonna be the. This is doing. I want you guys to tell me what would you do the unexpected moment you could ever have in a whole video game. Or in real life, basically. My unexpected moment was when um, I'm about to shoot some, about hit my target, and then there's some random dude just happened to show up in front of my face and this shot in the face. But that was a little crazy moment. But I think one of my favorite moments, and but and this is one of my favorite moments in Call uh, Call of Duty Black Op. And apparently, you can have you can kill if you die most of the time, and you. Keep on killing your opponent over and over and over every free time or something like that to get the all three car. So I'm just like, I'm gonna bring the all three car to my mind. <laughs> so every time I did that chance to get all three, I just do, I just bond the all key car, just do bribe right to my, my face every time. It's still funny. His reaction is, you know, oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh man, it's still funny. Most of the time I fail, but then I try to do the, but, that's one of my favorite moments in Call of Duty, but, but, uh, I don't know what you guys like the most in Call of Duty, but, I can't find anything to get interesting in Call of Duty, for some reason. Yeah, the shooting game, so it's good, but, uh, I just can't find anything interesting about it. I, I played... The first one, I played the theft one, I played Call of Duty Modern War, I played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I played Call of Duty Doge, I played those games, but I just can't find anything good about those things. You play a multiplayer and you start shooting people. I even try to Call of Duty Black Free and it, it did, but it's not something I can get into. So I don't know what's up with me playing Call of Duty when they don't play Call of Duty game, I end up don't. Can't find anything. And although I do like the zombie game, like Resident Evil, um, Left Dying Light. Dying Light. No, that Dying Light is not that done. No, yeah, Dying Light is yeah, the zombie. But I don't, I didn't play Dying Light yet, so, um, uh, even though Call of Duty do have a zombie, it's just not. Much of a zombie to me, but uh, you're shooting a zombie in the head like every time of the time. You like, headshot has a zombie one weakness, so why not just bang headshot dead like every one shot to the head? But nope, no matter how many times you shoot, no matter and when the zombie when the zombie start leveling up and you start getting to le third level, that one jump the headshot no more, no longer dead. Still dead, just take the left bullet to kill them. Them then just shoot them in the chest area, but I don't I don't really find that zombie game that interesting to play that much. Unlike the the other game like the Army of Two Forty Day Army of Two um um Tomb Raider or some other game. I'm okay with those games. They actually pretty good. They basically sometimes a little bit more adventure. Sometimes it's like uh uh need the name and. Trying to test, trying to test the NASA or something like that. They were just flying right here, just flying right above there, right there. But I can't find anything interesting about Call of Duty. I just can't get addicted to Call of Duty. I tried all the other game. I tried the the Vision and uh, I like that game. I just don't like the online. Hey, Tamara. Tamara, I want to wish me a little. Do the, yeah, and I'm still mad about her pee on her bed, but she doesn't to the point where she don't pee on the bed anymore. Ain't that right, little thing, boy? <laughs> still chew at that one. But I played a game called Thou Round Fallout, and I love those things. I love the, I love those things. Thou Round and Fallout, they both have a little more chance to it. Fallout, you have to worry about your gun jamming on you, and then. Your armor breaking down on you, then you have to repel them just to make sure they they did. 
and the John broke down completely, then you can't use it unless you repair it. So that's the downside to that one. That one, um, I can't find anything about that one because you got bread and that little bread and stuff, and then you have like some zombie dude that's not really a lot of zombie dude. So zombie don't have spell, so that's that. And then you have like bow and arrow, and and uh, is it anything and and then that one and fall out based on the same thing. They both have a it's a bit different how they do it. That one you don't have to worry about radiation. You just have to worry about hitting your butt whoop. And far out, you don't worry about radi- radiation. If you get too much radiation, you die or you get or you get beat down by enemy. But other than that, only thing different about that one and fall out, they both don't have a. Uh, they both don't do the same thing. That round, you can upgrade your armor to make it better and better on your steel as you put this steel point or something like that. And, um, and far out, you don't really upgrade your armor. No, you don't really upgrade your armor. You can find better armor, but that's pretty much it. You can find dual armor, but then you start with that one armor for the whole entire time. And that's pretty much it. Until you get the far out forward. Then that's when, that's when the whole thing just flew out the window. So now you can actually upgrade your armor. You can customize your armor. You can customize your gun and all that free stuff. And that's brand new to me. So I want to try that far out forward. But I, never, I had not tried far out forward yet. But I I would like to try that game out. It looks like a pretty good game. You can, you can build your own house. You can... You can do a lot more free stuff. Seven days to die. You, it's that like mind trap. It's that, with them done new zombie and pretty much that's it. So even though mind trap that zombie in it, it it's only zombie only pump out in the nighttime. Seven days to die. You that zombie everywhere. So I love that. I don't like that game. It's I ever did my hand on one. And then you have some other zombie game. I don't know what other zombie game there. Red Evil 1, I, that is not bad unless you got the challenge of trying to keep in someone, unless you want to try to get the dear dear ending, like the very dear ending. Other than that, it's a lot more pain in the butt if you choose certain option. Then you have Red Evil 2 with that pretty much light, and it, you play two different people, and you, oh Jesus, I remember why. But yeah, you get to play with two different people. You get to play a G- Crap. Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. I think her name is Chloe Redfield. Chloe Redfield? Oh, crap. I forgot that third name and reading from Stretch Redfield, but just the- Anyway, then you have Leon, my. <laughs> and I love playing Leon. But then with that. Although, reading with that ain't that great as much, so. I will tell you that later after I did that with Red Evil 2. Red Evil 2 is a, it's a pretty good game and then you have Red Evil 3 which is made it way more different than normal. So now you have that, once you get Red Evil 3 you have a, a choice. You have multiple choices and you, you can either do that choice and then you have Red Evil 4 when you play as Leon. Man that game was a little, that game was like a little bit better. Although, the downside to it, you have to tell some of your stuff or uh, talk to a way just to keep some of that stuff you want. Like, if that didn't matter, if that didn't, and if you upgrade your suit taste, you can upgrade your inventory, but then you have to, you still, you still get full by the time you grab that stuff more. And I know, but, uh, I got the feel, I done that, and, and that, I, I did play it by my, I did play it once, I did try it, and I did play it on, by myself, with a new profile, and then I just, I did, did do the copy and paste and did, did profile, but, then I thought, you know what, I might just play a new, new one, and that's what I did, took me a tough try, but I finally beat, I beat it, uh, the whole, and I know the, but the thing is, some people, they don't do it, and some people didn't even deem, I, so far, I think, I oh, know that the knife is completely useless. Like, literally, the knife is, like, absolutely the worst item in the game. And Red Evil 0, 1, 2, and 3. 
and ready for cold one. The knife suck. That's all I'm gonna say. The knife suck. Then you get ready for four, five, and six. Often, your knife is like the best item to use in certain things. Like the enemy, if your opponent climb up the ladder, you need to knife your opponent and then you knife your enemy. You knife the enemy and they drop down. That actually pretty on you for you to knife them and they just keep on falling and using that team on knife and like, bath off, son. You don't stay down there. I'm gonna stay up here. You stay down there. It's doing the habit then. But, other than that, that's one of the knives to completely useful. When you with it, don't really have a knife. But, yeah, actually, they do have a knife in Red with it. They just use it. And then just add like a, the script time when you hold one button and then frame with the other. You actually had to equip the knife and then use it. So, then you have to hold the button and use the knife in the end. So, it's the same thing with Red Dead 5, except you have to equip the knife, so you have to use the knife. But you don't really need a knife, because you actually have ability to melee your opponent now. So, it becomes a lot more different. Some people, like, in Red Dead 4 and 5, I don't know why, but there's like some pe- I, there's like one person I know, but he don't really, uh, yeah, I, I think the other thing he like to shoot first and not melee. Yeah, that's, that's good and all, but you also waste more ammo than it do melee. So you stun your opponent, you can melee your opponent, and then you can save more ammo, and then you can all your ammo up. So that's like the best way you can do it. Shoot your, stun them enemy, then melee to get the chance. Because if you melee your enemy, even if the enemy around you, your melee will send all the enemy away from you. And if I, I know that's how it worked, uh, in winning with four and five, I made it my opponent every, I always stun my opponent and every time, and I always run up to my enemy and kick them or punch them or make them think them flying, bitchy. Some people just like uh, to shoot the crap out of zombies without realizing you can just made it your enemy when they stun. I made it, I shot, I sh- yeah, in the very first one, if you ever did, if you if you ever think about doing it out of the one house and while you didn't chase out a whole zombie, don't take the chance to do it in that building. If you do it in that building, you have to worry about something way worse than just a whole pile of zombie. And that is the chainsaw dude. I hate the chainsaw dude. I hate one hit kill enemy. That's the one thing I hate in the whole universe. It's the one hit kill enemy. So, if you ever like definitely. They had to bring that thumb of done and ready four, five, and that and nut chain dog with a pain in the butt to take them off. The thumb the enemy, you have to shoot them in the head. But with that chain dog in, in ready and four, you have to shoot them in the eyeball. Wait, wait. Yeah, you have to shoot in the eyeball and stun the enemy. And that's the same thing with ready and five. And that's a, that's just like a pain in the butt. Shoot the enemy in your eye and stun them. That's like way more pain to pop. So it's like a little small target to hit the eye. And you have to be very good aim to just shoot the eye. But I like Red Dead Game because a little more, more chance. So I, you got Jami and I love Jami Game. And then you have Jurassic War. Well, there's a game called Jurassic... It's that Donto game and you play that dude with the red hair and... I like that. I like that game, and it's it's not bad. Pretty good. I played the very first one. Is and what's it there? You have although that's a downside to the whole thing. Don't enjoy it do you don't upgrade before you're done. You take that path. You take the upgrade before you're done. Don't take the path. You don't get no upgrade before you're done. And that the downside to it. You ought to have multiple choice in every time game. You have a choice to. Take the smart button, or you have a choice to take the smart button, on, or you have a choice to shoot the, the commando choice. So, captain, basically, or boss, or whatever you want to call them. But anyway, so you have a choice to choose those two options every time. So, if you choose to follow the smart button, you get upway, I think, like every, on everything. But you choose to do the tap and then you don't get no upgrade for you done. So you play you either play dumb or you play smart. I like to play smart sometimes, but I'm not really that smart. So I'm not 
thing I'm done, done, but I'm thinking I'm not to be that smart at the thing. I'm doing that mad, but that's pretty much the only thing I'm doing at anything else. I'm terrible at. Like literally, I can't. I don't even know. I don't even know how to do rhyming that well. I can't rhyme. I literally can't. I can't do the. I don't know how to spell the opposite of something. I know the opposite of something like. I'm not gonna borrow. I'm trying to think of something the opposite of. I know the opposite of like on and off. I know the opposite of. High and cold, but that's pretty much the type of thing I know that up there, but I don't know how to spell them. So once I don't, if I know how to spell them, I don't know how to spell them. So that the downside to it. And then I we do that rhyming, so I'm not gonna bother. Violet blue, roses all red, blah 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 blah. But I'm just gonna tell you that part, but. I'm telling you what my favorite game I like, but I also like to play the Planet of Tail. Planet of Tail is the basic uh, Nathan Dane. It's also the chance, sometimes a little bit of chance, but not a whole lot unless you know how you're doing, what you're doing. So once you know the enemy in that and know how to take care of them without getting caught, without activating alarm, but that's actually the pretty e easy game in the whole world. No matter what difficulty you play on, you can actually beat the game without in your butt warp. The first game was a little bit hard because you... The first turn to say I, I played was a pretty good game, but it's also the hardest because the third mission... You only can activate the alarm. If you activate the alarm one time, you fail. And the third mission, you, if you activate the alarm three times, you fail. So... It's not sneezing, but then, then, and it's not your name. It's better not your name. It's not sneezing, but it's not your name. I like being sneezy and most of the part, and just like some part I just like to shoot. Playing style is based on sneezing, so you gotta do more sneezing than shooting. That way, and fall out, you can do more sneezing or you can do more shooting. Well, fall out, you can do more shooting. That way, you can do more slashing or using your spell. And apparently, if you just fail, it also makes noise when you use a thunderbolt, firebolt, and ice bolt. I didn't know that. But every time I shoot it, all, them, all my enemies are like, There he is! Hold up. Wait, what? Oh, crap. But yeah. So, I'm trying not to use them that much. But that's pretty much all the video I'm on that. So, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up the video. If you like the video, subscribe, comment. Uh... Make sure you help out with the, the whole thing and give me a thumbs up and see you later. I don't know why I said thumbs up try, but see you later.